the Immigration Customs Enforcement, or ICE, is finally doing something we've all been waiting for them to do. Go back to school. Unfortunately, it's not the type of school we'd like them to attend, where they learn the history of American imperialism, the strength of labor unions, and understand the true meaning of compassion and friendship, and also Christmas. Now, this is a school that they themselves are going to run, and it's called the Citizens Academy, which is a six-week course that includes training for regular citizens on arresting undocumented immigrants. I mean, this is great. Because now this means that we've turned vigilantes into immigrant hunting slaves. I mean students. Immigrant hunting students. Which now that I'm saying that out loud, uh, also doesn't sound great. But Chicago Ice Field Director Robert Guaidon says this is the first of its kind. Okay, obviously this guy needs to watch like way more History Channel because... The American military has been training citizens to hunt and kill brown people for decades now. I mean, the only difference here is that this will be happening within American borders, which means that we're finally bringing freedom back home by ensuring the working class cages itself. What fun! Now, according to Guaidon, this training at the Citizens Academy would be in defensive tactics, firearms, familiarization, and targeted arrest. Okay, great. I mean, this is, this is good. We're going to arm these people so that these student vigilantes can really express themselves with the Second Amendment as they go in and arrest unarmed immigrants. I mean, this, this, is, this is great because now, finally, the American racist will learn how to write Go back to your own country with a semi-automatic weapon. I mean, look, the upside is a lot more people are now going to be literate. That's very exciting. But the downside is the only way we can communicate with each other in an ice-run world is by shooting notes into the walls of a minority's home. It's the only way to do it. But it's okay, you guys. Because Chicago ICE Director Robert Guaidon has said that this is going to be done in a safe and positive environment. Safe and positive for whom exactly? I mean, Robert Guaidon kind of sounds like the guy that tries to hook up with a chick at a party but gets mad at her for not bringing a condom. He wants it to be safe and positive and this lady ruined everything and now must be arrested by the rest of the fraternity. The point of this whole Citizens Academy program is to humanize ICE as they dehumanize immigrants. In the preview for the show Immigration Nation on Netflix, one of the supervisors refers to the immigrants that are not on the wanted list as collateral and how they need to apprehend more immigrants so they should arrest the collateral. Yet Guaidon talks about how he wants people to see the humanitarian efforts of ICE. Funny, I didn't, didn't know that you needed to wear a bulletproof vest and kick someone's door in, detain them in a jail cell, deny them legal aid to do humanitarian work. I mean, here I thought... It was helping those who had fallen on hard times, but really, I guess I was supposed to abuse the ever-living shit out of them. That's what doing humanitarian work is all about, people. He also talks about how he wants to show the outreach ICE does in the community. Now, I've had some variation of immigration bureaucracy in my life as an immigrant in America, and at no point do I remember an ICE agent trying to raise funds for an immigrant's trial, or offer them a place to stay, or help them find a job, or figure out how to get legal documentation. They are the armed militarized wing of the broken American immigration system, and they are waging a war 
on our streets. And now with the Citizens Academy, they've drafted and deputized the most closed-minded members of our society to do their dirty work. And this is not going to fix anything. It's not going to humanize the department. It's just going to create more xenophobic and racist violence towards immigrants. Immigrants who are just trying to live their lives, feed their families, and build a better future for their kids. ICE agents are complaining that, that they're being compared to Nazis and the SS, and there's a simple way to prevent that. Stop acting like Nazis. Look, I don't want to be called an imperialist, so I don't go and invade countries that I have no business being in. I don't fund coups to take over governments, and I don't bomb weddings. It's all very simple, really. And look, I'm not the only one that thinks that this is going to increase the amount of violence we'll see in our streets, right? Congressman Jesus Chuy Garcia has said the same thing. He's had the same complaints, and so does the St. Louis interfaith community. ICE's stance on this is that the misunderstandings are why the academy needs to be there in the first place. It's just some misunderstandings, you guys. <laughs> That's all it is. When they kick those doors down and separate families, it's just a misunderstanding. Look, so basically, at best, the Citizens Academy is a six-week propaganda program to push anti-immigrant narratives and at worst, it's a full-on war against immigrants using fear and hate from the American citizens at its core. Look, America is a, a big fan of its war, so why not bring them home and find new ways to militarize its populace? This is not a system that can be reformed. It needs to be transformed. And it can start by abolishing the militarized immigrant police we call ice and that has been your dispatch for this week thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed it very excited about some of these virtual live stand-up comedy shows that i'm going to be doing august is going to be a pretty busy month uh if you want to check out some citizen revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows that happen every virtually every friday almost every single friday at 9 p.m eastern 6 p.m pacific time uh you can check them out this coming friday this friday we're back in action with the regularly scheduled citizen revolutions august 7th august 14th august 28th we're going to be doing uh, brand new material every single week it's a new uh, uh subject matter new sociopolitical subject matter that we're going to be talking about uh and we're going to be donating to a different uh grassroots organization each and every week the august 7th show we're going to be uh donating to hard lens media they are chicago's uh independent media organization uh very uh amazing journalists that are on the ground covering protests covering news that you won't see anywhere else that the corporate media does not want to touch and then the citizen revolution will be in the saint lou fringe festival from august 19th to august 21st. You can get tickets for those at stlouffringe.com. That's stlouffringe.com. Uh, and this is going to be a version of the Citizen Revolution. I'm, I'm not going to be able to write a brand new show for the Fringe Festival. So what I'm going to do is take uh, segments and pieces of past Citizen Revolution shows and put them together to construct a, you know, a, a full, uh, full show, like an hour-based show. Um, so it'll have a little bit of a narrative arc. It'll cover a lot of the subject matters that we have, I've talked about before, uh, the citizenship, uh, imperialism, the labor movement, uh, electoral politics, and, uh, and saying, go fuck yourself to Jeff Bezos. So that's going to be a part of those shows. Uh, so again, St. Lou Fringe, August 19th through the 21st, stlouffringe.com. And very excited, I'm going to be doing the No Thanks Virtual Comedy Show on August 8th. That's this Saturday, this Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, hosted by Jimmy Calloway, who's the guest on this episode. So hosted by Jimmy Calloway, make sure you grab your tickets for these shows. Go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. 
while you're there, that's basically the one-stop shop for all things Chris Mohan. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets to a lot of these shows. You get free tickets uh, and free logins to uh, all of the virtual shows that I'm doing uh, by becoming a sustaining member uh, and by uh, making a monthly donation, monthly contribution uh, to the work that I do. Uh, you can also make a one-time donation if you want. You can also uh, download or stream my albums. Uh, all of my albums are available on, uh, on all of the streaming platforms and all of the downloading platforms. Primarily, they're available on Bandcamp. They're available on Bandcamp for free as a, uh, in a, on a pay-what-you-want model. And Politely Angry, which is the newest release that I have, is available for one dollar, a single dollar, and you can have pretty much the entire Chris Mohan collection if that's what you, if that's if that's what your heart desires. Uh, so you can do that, and I would like you to invite you to check out my brand new uh, channel on Rockfin.com. They are a blockchain cryptocurrency site that is focused on making sure that content creators are getting paid for their content and they are not censored for the content that they put out. There's no algorithms, there's no proprietary codes or anything like that. Uh, and uh, for, for you, the viewer, it's $10 a month. $10 a month and you get 100% of all of the premium content that is on rockfin.com. So if you're a fan of Graham Elwood, Kim Iverson, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Richard Menthurst, all of these people, they're all on rockfin.com, including your boy, uh, Chris Mohan, as also on rockfin.com. I don't know why I recall, uh, said that in the third person, but I did. Uh, but you can go to rockfin.com slash Chris Mohan. Ha ha. Uh, check out my stuff there. Uh, you can join the community in, at Rockfin. You can uh, become a subscriber at Rockfin. Uh, they work on that freemium model, so there's a lot of free stuff on there, but there's some premium stuff on there as well. So if you want access to that, if you want to help content creators uh, make money off of their content by just being viewers, go to rockfin.com. Uh, and you can subscribe to my page at rockfin.com slash Mohan. Ha ha. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. I really appreciate it. 